Go check out Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description down below to check out all of their NECA Evil Dead offerings. Maybe even buy a puppet or two. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here. And if you've been catching the reviews going, now in the Horror-a-thon on New Year's Eve, we have a review of NECA's Evil Dead Demon Spawn from Ruby. Yep. This is one of Ruby's kids that uh, decided to grow up completely in its teenage phase and get super rebellious, where uh, the Necronomicon, yeah, now it's starting to do weird things with that, and it wants to destroy the world or something. Uh, yeah, and uh, NECA decided, hey, you know what, as a send-off to Ash vs. Evil Dead, let's include it in Series 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good choice there, buddies. Anyway, since this is an army builder figure, and it is, uh, well, a relatively weird choice for uh, a final salute to Ash vs. Evil Dead. Yeah, is this thing even worth buying? Well, you might be surprised, or not. Let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Gotta be honest with you here, the demon spawn really, uh, it really doesn't got much wrong with it. It looks pretty, uh, pretty good. But then at the same time there's um not a whole lot going on here it has a nice charcoal gray body for the base we have some black wash silver dry brushing to bring out some of the details and uh proportions are kind of weird especially the fact that they used a rubber pelvis so that kind of throws off how the hips look a bit especially on mine um mine has one little paint chip on the loincloth but uh yeah very, very simple figure. Let's go ahead and take a closer look so this way you can appreciate some of the details where basically all the magic is happening in the head, specifically the face, because wow, we have individually sculpted teeth, we have the gum lines, we have recessed eyes where there are, there, there, there are no eyeballs to begin with, so good on NECA for really capturing those details. The demon spawn actually looks really cool up close and personal when we take a look at the head. As we take a look at the rest of the body, though, we notice uh, the sculpt is pretty good. But unfortunately, because of the material in some areas, it tends to look a bit warped. And I don't know what's going on, but when we take a look at the legs, specifically around the knees, there's something weird happening with the joints. I don't know if they're not pushed in all the way. I don't know if uh, maybe they screwed up and used the left knee for the right knee or whatnot, something like that. But uh, yeah, proportions... They're kind of lanky, they're kind of weird, and they don't make the figure overall look right. Definitely demonic, but he's going to have to be in a couple of weird poses to make him look good. But otherwise, the sculpt is great. He has a rockin' six-pack. There are two nipples on it. We can definitely see he's got some killer pecs, which I don't think somebody in this scrawny... Uh, physique should have a body built like that. Maybe some buffer arms, but uh, anyway, yeah. There are random veins, whole bunch of cracks throughout the figure. Overall, the sculpted detail is great. The paint is pretty cool, but uh, the proportions are just a little weird, and it's not because of how the original design is. It's more so due to construction. All right, so articulation for the demon spawn. Got to be honest with you here, NECA really did a nice job with this, except for the fact that I feel like some of the uh, the joints may or may not be inserted properly. I don't know if I got parts swapped, like the left should be on the right and the right should be on the left, or we have two lefts, one here and one here. I don't know what's going on. You're, you're going to see this as we continue. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the articulation for the demon spawn. We do have the head, which plugs in on a peg, and a, uh, a uh, ball joint there. So yeah, that's really cool. We can get the demon spawn to look in all sorts of different directions. And with this ball joint here, oh wow, that is weird. That is creepy. Quintessential creepy. This thing deserves to be in your collection just as a generic demon. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, that kind of looks like a... Anyway, so then we do have the shoulders, which are on swivels. This is pretty standard. Nothing over the top. But it works really well. And then we have hinges as well. Raise and lower the arms. We can uh, get a T-pose going on. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty close. Then, as we move on down, we have double hinged elbows, which is very good. And they have bicep swivels to them as well, as well as forearm swivels. And then we have the wrists, which are going to be on hinges and swivels. So this way we can move the hands around, which is very cool. Okay, now we do have an ab crunch, which is a ball joint. Very nice. Then we uh, we have a waist joint, which is just going to be uh, a hinge. 
no real uh, ball joint there, which is kind of awkward, but uh, hey, okay, Marvel Legends style. Ooh, look at that. We have some paint chip. Ah, yeah. Do be careful of the articulation here. You don't really want to damage your figure, okay? Yeah. Now we have swivels. So this way we can move the legs forward and back, just like so. And then we have hinges, so this way the whoa, legs can go out about that far. Now this is what I was talking about, about parts and assembly being messed up here. You can see that uh, this plastic, very soft uh, pelvis sort of caves in here at the, uh, the hip area, the right hip, and allows for much, much better movement. Is that a good thing? No, not really. But I mean, it, uh, it, it kind of is what it is. Right? Right. Yeah. Anyway, we do have swivels. This one is stuck at the uh, the thigh. It's this way we can move the leg around. We do have double hinged knees, which also feature swivels where they connect up to the thigh and uh, to the bottom portion of the leg. And then I'm not sure what we have for ankle joints. I believe they're ball joints based on how they're uh, moving and putting up resistance. But uh, this ankle is positioned weird. Like it's almost permanently cocked to one side or the other, making it difficult for uh, Demon Spawn here to stand. But anyway, at the end of the day, this guy can really move. And that is one of the big pluses of this figure. So whether or not he's just going to be a generic demon fighting Ash Williams, or I don't know, maybe he's going to fight Goku. This guy can go into a whole bunch of fun poses, including a very awkward fetal position. Cool. This is where the army building factor comes in. The accessories are two different heads. One, an angry teeth gritting face, which you can see that on the front of the box from the actual source material. And the other one is a screaming face. Yep, those are the two head sculpts. So uh, to be honest with you here, you're probably better off getting more than one. Anyway, let's take a closer look at them where the, uh, where the angry snarling face, very accurate. He looks pissed. So there's that. And then we have the yelling face where his mouth is open much more so. And all of the detail on the inside for the mouth looks that much better. That's it for accessories. Yup. That's me uh, handling the box around, and uh, well, it's time to end the review, where we're going to have a size comparison with the rest of Ash vs. Evil Dead Series 2, and some other figures might have, whether or not it's going to be a Pennywise, a Godzilla, or hell, maybe even a Goku. Yep, the Demon Spawn can not only travel out of the Necronomicon, but maybe to other dimensions as well. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Gotta be honest with you, this is rather forgettable, because what, the Demon Spawn's only stayed within the first three episodes of season two yeah they were at the end of the first season but uh yeah i don't really know about this one it's kind of creepy that loincloth and the exposed butt cheeks especially yeah 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 pretty basic figure you're either gonna like this or you're not if you don't like it don't blame you i only got it because i got it in an assortment of figures so um couldn't say no to it like lit literally i i could not not order this figure if I wanted to get Henrietta and Ash. So uh, having it, it's cool to just have a generic deadite for Ash to fight. But uh, beyond that, no Ruby. And uh, I don't feel like buying another one of these. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's cool. Helps fill up the shelf. Not entirely a bad figure. Loose joints, awkward proportions. But, uh, you know, a crouching deadite. Killer Ash. Well, folks, that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow me on social media to catch more behind-the-scenes shenanigans and updates. The end card should be popping up now with more hand-selected STR goodness for you to watch, so check out some of those videos. Be sure to check the description, too, to see where you can buy this figure or others like it and some cool links, like the credits for this video and other ways you can help out the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.